Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins and today I want to show you my new never-ending stamp. So this stamp is a repeatable layering stamp. So you've got two layers to it but also you can stamp this in tiles and it will look like a complete panel. This is perfect if you love 12 by 12 scrapbooking, art journaling, your larger cards or if you just want to have the pattern continue over a slightly longer area whether it's up, down, left or right. Now this comes from my new textures opulence collection, you'll find all the details for that down below so this is only a tiny little piece of the collection that kind of encompasses everything that the style is all about so very ornate and very detailed and beautiful so for this I'm going to be using my stamping platform so this is going to keep my paper in place whilst I do the layering aspect obviously got the stamps I've got white smooth stamping cardstock I have got a Versamark or embossing ink here a gold embossing powder and a dark blue ink now your ink can be absolutely any colour you want and you don't have to use embossing here you can use just a second colour ink if you prefer now although they are stacked uh, this way in the packaging I prefer to start with the bottom one the one that has the least amount of detail this is usually only if I'm doing embossing if I'm doing just coloured ink then it doesn't matter which you do first so let's start down in this bottom corner there we go place that onto my paper pick this up and I'm going to cover my entire stamp with my clear embossing ink making sure I capture all the detail now I would definitely suggest that you um, do one panel at a time rather than trying to do them all together certainly for this layer because you're going to find it really hard to line it up until you've added the gold embossing powder so sprinkling this all over the paper and then putting the excess back into the pot and we should be left with an absolutely stunning background here of gold now of course you can just leave it like this if you like it you could also just stamp this top layer on its own if you like it you don't have to do all two layers every single time now what you'll find is next time you lay your stamp down and it's much easier now I've embossed the bottom will automatically match up with the top so it's very easy let me just lift that so I can see where I'm placing it I'm just putting the edge of the stamp against the edge of the embossing so it's just perfectly on the lines there lovely and then keeping my paper still with my magnets and I've got a sticky mat under here as well I'm going to pick this one up and I'm going to do the same again so now I've got my repeating pattern up and down I could also do this if I wanted to side to side so this will also repeat in this direction as you can see there so for example these parts will lead into this leaf this floral here this flower the stem of it is here it just all works together and you can keep repeating this time and time again but I'm going to now move on to the second layer so you can really see the impact that this has when you put the next colour on and it's absolutely beautiful so this is the one with the more detail so again I've just positioned that by putting my head right directly over making sure that that fits perfectly and then I'm going to pick it up with my stamp platform make sure there's no air bubbles underneath and I'm going to use my dark navy blue ink now this is a dye ink this is going to soak into the paper really quickly but it's not going to dry on any of the embossing so I've got time to just buff that off if I need to or if I want to and there we have the most beautiful paisley background decorative background and I'm going to repeat that at the top here so now I've cut my detailed pattern down to size to fit my card base I'm going to mat it onto a coordinating cardstock that goes with the blue ink that I've used and this cardstock's got a little bit of a shimmer to it so it's really pretty with just a fine border to help just set that off from the card base which is plain white how beautiful is that and I love that the gold shimmers in the light as well just picks out the highlights from the pattern 
So I don't want to detract too much from the pattern in the background, but I'm going to put a large sentiment on there. But what I'm going to do is heat emboss this. So cut it out, heat emboss it in the same gold and then glue it down flat, which is something I don't usually do. And hopefully it will look as if it's kind of molded into the background. So the gold embossing will be exactly the same as that background pattern. Hoping it's going to look gorgeous. So after die cutting this from white cardstock, scrap white cardstock, I used gold embossing powder. This is the Ranger Princess Gold Powder and uh, heat set that. And then once I'd done it once, I then went over again with my ink and my powder to give it a thicker look. I glued this down flat onto the pattern background and it just looks beautiful teamed with that embossing in the background. So there's a really quick and easy card you can create using these layering stamps. You'll find them linked down below. And if you love this video, please do remember to subscribe to my channel as always. And I think you're also going to like this video just at the bottom here. Thank you everybody, take care. I'll see you again soon.